Hello, I'm Dr. Terry Simpson. One of the exercises I like having my weight loss surgery patients do is measure the amount of food that they can eat, whether it be a gastric plication or a lap band. And the reason is, once you see how much less you can eat and get by with it, the better you will be. So how do you measure it, and what's the exercise? Essentially, twice a week, we like our patients to specifically measure their food, four ounces of meat, fish, or poultry, and six ounces of vegetables. That's the meal. Eat that meal and then see how you feel in two hours. Now, if you can't eat all that, that's fine. If you feel that's just too much, stop. Just eat what you can, measure what you can, and see where you are. How do you do that? In the old days, we used to tell people to measure in cups. It's kind of difficult to do that, chopping up things. Now we say measure in a scale. It's a lot easier to do. You can throw it on pretty easily, and as you can see by our blog post, you can get some interesting and accurate information. Two things happen as a result of this. For our lap band patients, they discover that they can eat a lot less, and it's an early warning system if they need an adjustment to the band. If they find that at two hours they're starting to get hungry, or that if they go to the grocery store at two hours, they're a danger to themselves because all of a sudden Ben and Jerry's and processed and crappy food looks really good, they know they need an adjustment. If they find they can go three or four hours, what they discover is that small amount of food satisfies them. And the more feedback you get about the smaller amount of food that satisfies you, the less likely you are to overeat. Same with our plication patients. We know our plication patients can eat about a cup of food. So it's pretty easy to measure it. So measure it, see what you can eat, and see where it is. Once you get in the habit of measuring your food, it's much easier to control your portion size. You're not going to stretch anything out, you're not going to overeat, and you're going to lose weight a lot faster. Our successful long-term patients, meaning they're out five years and have lost all their excess weight down below a BMI of 24, they do this at least twice a week. So we have a saying in our profession, scale it or fail it. Or another way of saying, if you can measure it, you can manage it. I'm Dr. Terry Simpson. Good day.